Hi, it's Andy again, and I have another tutorial for material design today. Uh, we're going to do the floating action button, and I'll, I'll show you how to implement uh, a rounded button on pre uh, lollipop, and then an actual floating action button in um, in in lollipop. So uh, I, by the way, I pulled this kind of code from um, Big Nerd Ranch. Uh, Here's the, the the article that I pulled it from, but uh, I've modified it quite a bit since um, this is a little outdated since it used the the preview and um, some of the code has been um, updated and uh, it also left out some some key code that would have prevented it from working on. Uh, pre lollipop devices anyway and I kind of made it easier to read so I'm going to show you how to do the this floating action button in um, in lollipop and then how to have a rounded button in the same location on um, on uh, pre lollipop devices okay so first thing we're going to do is on our main activity we're going to set up our view um, now I have two different layouts one for uh, pre lollipop devices and then one for lolly lollipop devices specifically so um, it, this is what they're gonna look like they're pretty much the same with uh, slight modifications that I'll I'll go over in a little bit um, basically there's an image button in the bottom right hand corner on both of them so let's go back to here and uh, if you notice this background is re referencing a different background um, also, um, on here we have an animator, which is something that's specific to Lollipop. So we need to have a separate layout, um, or you can do a separate layout, or you can do this via code. Um, but I figured it'd be easier to do a, a separate layout that's specific just for um, uh, Lollipop devices. Okay, so. Um, here are the dimensions that we're going to use for our button. We have a diameter of 48 pixels, density uh, 48 dips. Um, we have our margin that we're going to kind of keep it away from the from the sides. So if you look at here, we have a margin over here of 16 dip, uh, pixels, and then on the bottom, 16 dips as well. So that's what we're using those for. And then um, later on, when I show you the the lollipop um, version, this is going to be our elevation. So our elevation is going to be uh, at one pixel high, and then when we select it, it's going to go up to eight pixels high. So um, this is something that's not going to be compatible out of the box with KitKat and below. So um, I'll show you how to implement the two two different things here. Um, the reason why we have to have a different background for um, KitKat and uh, and earlier and Lollipop and Greater is uh, because of the ripple. So here's the pre Lollipop layout. It's just going to be an oval shape, as you can see. Um, since we're setting the dimensions of the height and width being the same. Uh, that's the diameter and this is all going to be round because of that. So uh, we definitely want an oval and then set a color for it. So I'm using the, the primary color here. Now on our um, on our lollipop devices we're going to turn this into a green color and then uh, that's what this uh, color accents which is what was pulled from there. You can change the color here to anything you want. Um, as you can see, we have our shape of oval, but we're also putting that inside of a ripple. Now the ripple is 21 and, and up, so um, that's why we have to have a separate resource fo uh, folder here. Um, we have our regular uh, drawable folder, which has the oval, and then this is the drawable version 21. So we have our ripple that's going to be uh, basically holding in this uh, this oval. 
and then uh, we're setting the, the highlight color to be a little bit darker than the, than the, than the actual accent color. Uh, then, yep. So that's pretty much it for the for the ripple in the background. So that's the difference between them. So let's talk about the the elevation. Now this is a selector, so whenever we select it, it's going to pull this up. So we're using an object animator, and um, this is for when the state is pressed, and then this is going to be when it's not pressed. So when we, when we press the button, we want to go from one pixel height to eight pixels height, and it's going to do the whole um, shadowing and everything for us. We're going to do it's uh, the floating, so that's where we get the floating action button from. Um, and then the animation for both of them is going to be the same, which is a short animation. Um, and this is the property type is a translation Z. The Z, um, you have X, Y, and Z. Z is the 3D element of the third dimension. So um, this is going to be pulling it up and then pushing it back down uh, onto the sheet of paper that material design uh, follows. Okay, so in our activities you can see that we reference oval as our background for our pre lollipop but every everything else is pretty much the same and here's our activity for our lollipop devices where we have our um, state list animator so this is going to be the uh, item that's going to be animating and lifting up the button as we select it um, here's our default elevation of one pixel. Um, you can add this in pre lollipop devices. It's just not going to do anything. Um, this isn't something that's going to be recognized. All right. And uh, this is the add button that's going to be put in there. Um, We want to change this to oval ripple. Okay, and then we're taking that uh, the tint uh, and turning it into a white. So normally this is a green button, as you can see here, uh, but we're tinting it white. So that's basically how you get this this basically this white button um, from a default icon. All right, so we're going to run this on two different emulators to show you how, what this looks like. All right, so first let's go with our KitKat emulator. Now this is going to be uh, this layout without the, I'm just going to use the drawable oval as our background. Um, no fancy schmancy anything. When we click on the button, it's just going to pop up a toast that says selected button. Now you can also put in a selector in here as well uh, if you want to kind of show that it's selected kind of like with the um, on here. You can do a selector as well um, without the animation and um, just do like a state pressed and then um, do a um, like a, a, a highlighted effect on top of it. Um, I decided just to go simple with this one, just to have a round button. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna run this on a lollipop emulator. So let's do that. And uh, I'm also picking eight pixels as the height because I kind of want to show it coming off of the, the screen a little bit more, it's a little hard on uh, on the emulator with this the whole screen showing so I'm gonna it's gonna be down here in the corner 
and I'll kind of select it with the ripple and then show you how it pulls up as well. So when we select it with the ripple, you can see that the ripple um, happens from wherever we select it. And then um, underneath it, you can see down here that it, there's a nice little shadow that's created kind of showing that it's pulled up off of the screen. Uh, so that's our uh, object animator working to pull it up. Okay, so this is the floating action button. I'll leave the, the source code for this in uh, the video description. And uh, have a good day.